Well, you might not believe it if you've been outside shoveling snow the last couple days here on the East Coast, at least. But spring is officially here, and that means we'll soon be getting lots of fresh vegetables and looking to eat lighter. And Chef Mark Forgione is here right now with a few simple spring recipes. He's the winner of the Food Network's Next Iron Chef and owns Mark Forgione Restaurant here in New York. Mark, great to see you. Congratulations, yeah. too. Thank you very much. Let's treat this like Iron Chef right now. Let's yes. just get right after it. Do right. you want me to move back quickly? No, I'm kidding. Well, you know, on the morning TV here, we're going <laughs> to slow it down. People are still <laughs> kind of sleeping, right? Exactly. People are just waking up, so we're going to take it a little easier. But uh, congratulations with everything Thank and, you. and on the restaurant and the show. Um, with it being spring now, um, we want to make a little bit of lighter fare. So we've got this kind of nice chicken here and some kind of nice spring vegetables we're going to talk about yeah. in the next couple of seconds. But what is what, what have we done with this chicken? So first? this is, uh, you know, we've all seen, or probably a lot of people, I'm sure you've had chicken under a brick before, you know what I mean? But it's people sometimes get a little scared that you can't do it at home. Yeah. Seems a little complicated. It's actually one of the easiest things to do. In my opinion, it's easier than roasting a whole chicken. I don't know. Some people at home might be saying, wait, did he just say chicken under a brick? Under a brick. And this is, this is an actual brick. Yep. I mean, it's the same thing that you build a house with. So, so we're going <laughs> to... It's the real thing, it's folks. It's real. It's so not the magic of to television. Season the, to season the chicken, yep. uh, one little thing is you only put salt on the skin. Because okay. if you put the pepper and the lemon zest on the skin, when you put it in this smoking hot pan, yep. it's going to burn. This is one of the keys here, the iron skillet, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, most chefs will tell you, if, if you don't have one of these, go get one. Go get one. Because it'll change everything that you cook. So a little olive oil on there, get that thing nice and hot. And just salt on the skin. Just salt on right. the skin, okay. And then this is a little secret. People ask me all the time when they have this dish, why does your chicken taste so good? Why does your chicken taste so good? This is why the chicken tastes so good. Okay. <laughs> little lemon zest, huh? I'm telling you, that's it. <laughs> We've got <laughs> the peanut gallery, Jeff and Erica chiming in. This is our own little top chef here. Everybody thinks they can cook. Everybody thinks they were genius in the kitchen. Right? All right, so now we go into the smoking hot skillet. Okay. How long has that skillet been heating up for? A little while? Uh, just enough to start. Yeah. Uh, and again, sometimes you're reading recipe books that say don't get it to the smoking point. Yep. I like to put get it, it to the, the smoking, smoking point. point. Okay. And how long will the chicken be in there for? About 500 degrees, you cook it probably about 8 to 10 minutes. 8 to 10 minutes, yeah. okay. You just throw that brick right on it. Right on, just like that. All right. This is great. It's a little Ooh. heavy, huh? Be careful. You hit? Come on, Iron Man, let's see what you got. <laughs> I get any help? Doesn't mean you're strong. <laughs> get any help from me, buddy. <laughs> okay, so it's in the oven for how long? I'd say about 8 to 10 minutes. Oh, just 8 to 10 minutes in the yep. oven, so. And then the power of TV, right? Look at that. Oh, yeah. You guys smell that? Yeah. It's the brick. All right, so be careful. The brick is obviously hot. If you got kids around, you don't want to anybody touching bad. it. Yeah. Right. Flip it around a little bit. You see the skin? Oh, now, yeah. I'm just doing this just to show you guys, but you never really want the flesh to touch the hot pan. That's the whole reason that it stays tender. And watch out, that oil's popping. As yep. far as the sauce now, we're going to go. We're going to make it literally what we got in there, huh? Right in front of you. This is where you get all the beautiful chicken drippings and the, you know, what we call the love in the kitchen. Love in the kitchen. So a little bit of capers. So what do you have if you got some? This is just shallots, chopped yeah. shallots. Yeah. Right. Get a capers. little bit of capers. Ooh, you can smell. Ooh, you can smell the love. Mm. See that? You can <laughs> smell the love. You can smell some the love. Some people can feel the love. This is smelling wow. the love. What else? Yeah, we'll hop that away. The, we're going to finish it with chili flakes. So now we just add a little bit of butter mm. to make it healthy, right? Uh, yeah, a little, just a little bit of butter. <laughs> a little bit of chili flake. Mm. And this is entirely up to you if you want more or less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it hot. Let's turn up the heat. You want to yeah. do a little more? Turn up the heat. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Turn up the heat. We like a little heat. You want to go bam? You want to give you a bam? Come on, give me a bam. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> wow, looking good. How does that? Oh, that's hot. All right. So now you've got it. The shallots are basically getting crispy, getting happy, right? God, you guys oh, could smell this. That smells smell so good. This smells fantastic. You know, the heck with 3D television. We need to get television where you can actually smell it. Smell television. Smell of it. We've heard about it. I mean, this is I'm amazing. I'm sure Bill Gates is working on it. <laughs> All right, we're just about there now. So as soon as the butter's melted, that's when you know you're pretty yeah, much. Yeah, you, you see the shallots yep. in there getting a little crispy. Oh. Yeah, right. That's good. Finish with a little bit of pepper. So what will we do now? We know with the chicken. We'll we are going to dump this right back on right top. Right on right on Jeff it. can't wait much longer. You got to hurry yeah. up. Yeah, it's really good. So now He's you hungry. can get fancy and use okay. a spoon if you want. But <laughs> why bother? For me, Iron oh, Chef. Wow. This is how we do it, Iron Chef style, right oh, here. Man, you pour right on there. There you go. Spring vegetables. What are some of the vegetables we should be looking for in the marketplace? I mean, right now, there's, uh, you're going to see spring garlic will be the first one, which we got. Uh, we got a big one right there. You yep. see it? It's kind of purple sure. garlic. Yep. Get these beautiful little marble potatoes. You'll have peas and favas. Wow. 
baby carrots, all this kind of stuff is going to be local and ready to go. Soon. This looks fantastic. I know they're dying deep right now. Can I ask a quick question? Yeah. You said what? you don't want the chicken. You just did it to show us you don't want the chicken to touch the pan. So the brick just cooks. I've never had chicken well, what happens brick. Is the brick. It just heats up and that cooks it from gets, the top? It gets hot in the oven, but gradually. Oh. So instead of, uh, instead of the flesh touching the smoking and hot pan, it just kind of cooks through. I don't know that this studio has ever smelled better. That is saying something. It really is good. That is saying something.